I believe I have spoke about you have to forgive your enemies. No matter what they have done to you, you have to forgive your enemies. So a person may say, well, I believe that I have forgiven my enemies. So how would I know if I hate someone still or if I hold any unforgiveness toward a person? Okay. One easy way. If you saw your enemy on the side of the road and their car broke down or you saw them walking and they needed help, would you stop by and pick them up and help them? If that is a difficult answer or if it is difficult to answer that, then you have not forgiven that enemy or your enemies. Okay, let me say another one. If your enemy was to come to your home asking for money, for food, or asking for food in general, would you be willing to give this person money or food? If that is difficult to answer, chances are you have not forgiven your enemy. Chances are you may even low-key hate this person. Listen. Everything comes down to heaven or hell. I don't care who the person is. I am not going to hell for anyone. I am not going to hell because I am not willing to forgive another person. Think about it. Yes, it may hurt or make me feel down to intervene with my enemy or whatever, but imagine how down you are going to be when you go to hell. Imagine the pain that you are going to suffer each and every day, every second, because you are not willing to forgive your enemies. Hell is not worth it. I know one thing, I don't like heat. I don't like really filthy places. I don't like, how can I say this? <laughs> I don't like being harassed a lot. But I know if I was to go to hell, all of that plus more is going to happen to me. So that tells me, hey, no matter what a person does to me, say to me, or whatever, I am going to forgive that person and I am going to help that person if he or she asks. It is that simple. When you place things in that aspect, of hell, <laughs> it makes your choice much easier. So if you are willing to not forgive a person because of what they have said to you or done to you or whatever, you are not thinking right. I really wanted to say something else, but <laughs> let me not say that. <laughs> I really have to watch what I say, but that would be foolish to not forgive your enemy. What if 
you have an enemy or someone beats you up every single day and you say, well, I can't forgive this person because they beat me up every day from age five to age 15. So you die and go to hell. Guess what? You are going to be beat up while you are in hell for eternity. So the reason why you did not forgive that person because of the abuse, but now you are in hell receiving much more abuse. <laughs> I pray this makes sense. What you received on earth when you go to hell, what you received on earth is going to be worse. How can I say that? The bad things that happened to you on earth, when you go to hell, that is going to happen plus more. So why not forgive? Forgive. It is not that hard. Better yet, and this is what helped me as well. Buy gifts for your enemies. Well, Kevin, I can't do that because it hurts so much. You need to do it. The more you do it, the more you give to your enemies, you are going to find those feelings of hatred and bitterness is going to fade away. Write to your enemies. Say hello. Have a conversation with them. Treat them as if nothing happened at all. If you do this and continue to do this, it is going to be easier to let go of those negative feelings about your enemies or for your enemies. I am telling you, it works. I do this all the time. And when my enemies see that I am willing to help them and give them things, it confuses them. Why is this guy doing these things for me? When, when I backstabbed him, when I was talking behind his back and trying to get other people to hate him or do mean things to him, it confuses them. You want those feelings, those negative feelings out of you. Hell is not worth it. So I pray that this makes sense. Don't be foolish. Nothing on earth, no matter how much pain you received on earth, is worth dying and going to hell over. I don't care now it is a terrible thing to be raped and molested. Those things are terrible. But imagine what is going to happen to you in hell. You are going to be raped all day long. So if it already happened to you on earth, why would you want it to happen in hell by hideous beasts? Think about that. Yes, I got hurt on earth. Yes, it makes me sad, but hey, I am not in hell. Let me forgive because if I am foolish and continue to hate those people, even though I got raped or whatever, per se, imagine what is going to happen to you once you go to hell. So that rape that you have experienced on earth is going to be magnified 10 times more or so much more than what happened to you on earth. I pray that this makes sense. Well, Kevin, I just don't care. They never should have done that to me. That is crazy talk. 
Well, if God really cared about me, he really, he would have saved me and not let this person do this evil to me. Listen, God can do whatever he wants. He can send you wherever he wants. Why rebel against God? It don't make any sense. I don't understand everything that God does. I don't. But I know one thing, he is in control, so <laughs> let me abide by his rules. No matter if I agree with his rules or not, let me follow them because Kev does not want to go to hell, period. I don't care if someone burns my house down, I am going to forgive that person. <laughs> I am so serious. You can take my wife, kids, whatever, and I am not married or have kids, but if I had kids or a wife, you can take them, do whatever, and I am going to forgive you either way. Yes, it may be hard, but hey, hell, hell is much more harder. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.